Salut! God bless you. Hot nights. Hot songs. Hot lips. All night long. Hot bed of electric dreams. Hot flash of electric scenes in your brain. Hello there. And welcome to Channel 36. And tonight you're going to watch Sensational Past 60. Good evening, Steve. Hello, How are Lorraine. You tonight. <laughs> my name is Lorraine Stewart. And um, my co host of the show, Mr. Charles Adekoff. Where is Steve, he? Steve, he's not going to be here tonight because I, he told me he was um, oversexed. Charles always shows night. up. I, that's incredible. Yeah, that, that's what happened to Charles, and I, I'm going to miss <coughs> him, but. Hello there, just a minute. Hold it. What do you mean you're going to miss me? I'm here. You <laughs> sent me down to this sex store, <laughs> and let me tell you, I've seen more sex stores around in my time than where you sent me. I wasn't going to look at a sex store for toys. That's what you mentioned. There were so many grown-up toys around. Why go look at toys in a store, correct? Correct. I so I had a wonderful time in what I was doing. I got some good phone numbers. Steve, I'll help you too. <laughs> All right. Got enough for both of us. That's cool. Yeah. Anyhow, this is Mr. Charles Adercock. This is Mr. Steve Adler. And uh, yes, we're, I did mention to you about um, the toy store mm -hmm. that we're going to play and talk about a toy store. And I, I asked him whether uh, you think seniors should have their special toy store. Are you asking me? Yeah, I want to hear what the gentlemen have to say about that. Well, I can only talk for myself. I can't talk for the other seniors. But if you remember correctly, two weeks ago when we did the sensational store, right. I told you I was with a very charming lady that I took to a theater at the music hall. Uh -huh. And I had a wonderful time, and I said it didn't even cost me for a hotel, right? What do I need toys for when I have the original? Over 60, over 70, over 80, you can only do so much. And as much as you can do, you're very helpful and you thank God for it. People still like to play around a little bit, you know? Have some fun play around a little bit. Who said I don't play around? <laughs> and I, when I play around, it's not a little bit. I play around a lot. Okay, I'm, I'm quite sure okay. you do. But a lot of people play around with their toys. Like what? Name me a couple of toys that you would consider. Well, you have like the dominatrix <laughs> situation where you play a role. Either the male or the female plays the dominant person. And they have things that go along with that, whether it's a whip, whether it's handcuffs, or things like that. Or, excuse me, leather goods. Do yeah. you like leather goods? To set the tone. Sure, absolutely. <laughs> it's a turn on. Yeah, uh huh. The way lingerie is a turn on, garter belts, that kind of thing. Lingerie to me is always a turn on. You know when? When I start removing it. <laughs> <laughs> Not when it's on. That's on is one thing. When I remove it, that's a turn on. So you prefer a woman to say, um, <coughs> without that sexy negligee and just come in <coughs> just completely nude? That's no, no, nude. no, no. I like her to come in with a sexy uh, nightgown or a slip or bra panties because that's I love removing them one by one. To get into that's the like, foreplay. That's play. right. That's yeah, the idea. Yeah, that's right. That's what we have. They come, in, the they come in completely in the nude. What else is there to do? That's, That's right. True. You start with the nitty gritty. You've seen Nothing it all. To the imagination, That's Nothing. Right? No, I like but the other thing much better. You have to work by layers. Yeah. A little Layer, bit. Layers. Watch your language with a layer. But <laughs> <laughs> okay, while you're doing that, though, still picture getting a toy. Okay. You, Steve mentioned some toys, and you know, there are other toys like the vibrator. That's only for women. <laughs> What is a man supposed to get? Hold it. <laughs> huh? Well, now wait a second. I think it could be used both ways now. Both really? Both ways, yeah. A vibrator. It could be used both ways. Live and learn. Again, everybody has a preference. 
What is your preference? I knew he was going to say that. Right. Yeah. What no, kind cool. of toys Come do you on. like? Come well, on. We'd love to know it. What That's is your... Right. I've used the vibrator. Uh -huh. no, mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with that. You get Absolutely your not. Well, you get your pleasure when you can't get the real thing right away. And the clock is running. And the clock is running. I've been with a woman who loved using a vibrator while I was with her. It, uh, double honestly, a double, absolutely. It was wonderful. It was wonderful. But you know, this was a few years ago. You know, I'm getting a little older now, so I can't mess around with these vibrators. <laughs> yeah, but you're still young. Remember you oh, said yeah, yeah, you, switch, yeah. you like to switch the I switched. Right? I went from 96 to 69 That's because right. I still love 69. I That's told you that right. before, exactly. yes. Exactly. So do you think when you reach, um, well, you start middle age, let's put it that way, do you think uh, some people are more curious or more prone and they think they might need some playful things. Now, I'm not saying you, some, some other people, to get into the swing of things. Stimulation. Yeah, to yeah. get in the swing of things. You know, I'd like to go off one second on something else. You know, there's such a thing as a threesome, which they call menage a trois. Is that correct? And usually a man likes to be with two women. <coughs> <laughs> my, my right? Too much sex last night. No, maybe not enough. That's why I'm coughing. Maybe. Anyway, mm -hmm. but a man likes to be with two women in a, in a, a menage a trois. What I'm curious about, we were hoping we'd have some of the people from the gay community in tonight. We did try. We couldn't yeah, get them. Try. That was because of uh, uh, the traffic and everything and people getting out of work. I, I did try. We had a couple people, but that was the reason why. All right. Maybe next time we'll be lucky. So what I'm trying to find out from them is we'll take a <laughs> gay man. What would he consider having a menage a trois? Would it be two other men besides him or, or what? Two women, lesbian women, what? What would I they enjoy? That's I what I'm trying to figure out. Well, that's right. That's preference yeah. again. That's preference. Yeah. But we'll save that so when we get somebody on, we could ask them. That's a good question, right? Sure, I'm, I've always been curious about yeah, that. Yeah, that's, you know, I'd like to know that myself. Curious. I think, think in other situations, you're talking about toys is very often when people get into conversation, that can be a turn on, to hear two women talk to each other about what sets them up, what stokes them or a woman listening to two guys speak. That could be a turn on, a verbal description. It or, can be. Uh, you know, oral coverage, as they say. Yeah, verbalization yeah. is sometimes much better. You know, there are a lot of young women that come into my screening room, and I hear them, as you just said, they're discussing things right. amongst them. And I love getting into it. Right. And I come right into it, and I say, now, just a minute, would you please repeat what you two said so that we can maybe wind up with a what? Come on. A little activity. No, what, what do you call it? It's from menage a trois. Oh, okay. And uh, sometimes uh, they start laughing and say, yes, yes. I say, look, don't keep saying yes, yes. Just tell me when you're ready to go to Vegas. Once I get the three tickets, I'll know you, have, you mean business. They start laughing, yeah, yeah, we'll go. Everybody talks a big game. But I think women are, are, are find it easier to talk and describe what they've done with each other than men do. Excuse me, it's just like when we had sex in the city. Yeah. When these girls got together and they talked about their escapades and everything. Yeah, yeah. Great, men do, men don't love to hear that. Men don't generally talk about it. You know, men are usually uh, more cryptic. They'll, 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 are, they'll you, are you sure? Are they you kidding? Men. You mean men don't... I'm not talking about lying or fish stories. I'm, I'm talking about... I'm Actual talking about you know, gossip when they go out on on uh, on dates or have affairs. I, I've with never women. found that. Not like they women. Don't. Not like not like women do. Women enjoy. What do you have to say about that? Have about, you ever uh, say about what? Have about you ever heard men talking together the way you heard the women talking? About their escapades. Oh uh, yeah, you have. Oh, okay. many a times. Yeah, right. but what I haven't heard too often are men who in their seventies or eighties because they have nothing to talk about, mm -hmm. because nothing has been happening mm -hmm. with no. most of them. Yeah. Now, sure, it's true. Sex is, sex is a wonderful thing for people in an elderly end, as seniors. Yeah. It's right. wonderful. Mm -hmm. But I'd like to be present to see it happening. Now, people talk about Excuse it. Excuse me, don't say nothing's happening. Things are happening out there with these people. Uh, are you, have you seen it? 
You just I hear about I, it. I hear about it, but I know <coughs> but they, they find partners and, mm -hmm. and they do it. They do it because some of them feel like, hey, listen, I, you know, I want that excitement. I, I want to feel good again. Well, the cruise ships. I want to feel uh, they young do, again. That's what the cruise ships specialize yeah, in, a lot of activity. Do. Entertainment. Yeah. yeah. Matching people. Yeah. You know, getting that thrill and putting them together and see what happens. You know? But I think oh. women, no, no matter what their age, they always enjoy talking and, and being more descriptive than men. You know, just from my personal experience. Mm -hmm. Men don't like to talk except if they're bragging or something like that. But women actually share, describe, talk Real about personal. an escapade. Really yeah, really. And, and get down to the, the down and dirty yeah. aspects yeah. of everything. And they're, they're, they're more open. Yeah. I don't think For they some reason. So I, I don't know why. Yeah, no, it's true. Uh, you give me your uh, ideas of what you feel like with elderly people for sex nowadays. What do you, th what do you envision seeing anything like that? Where does it happen? How does it happen? Where do they go? Where, do, where does it come from? Okay, this I mean, is where I say, I, I don't use the word elderly. I well, use the word middle-aged. Uh, middle-aged, middle okay. Okay, first of all, it's hard to, hard to meet people today, right? Correct. This is where they go on, on the dating mm -hmm. thing, unless somebody introduces you to someone. And I, I think we all eventually want to find someone, mm -hmm. even though we can't stand being with that person all the time. Regularly. We don't want to be <laughs> regularly, <laughs> right, right. Yeah, I love you, but I can't live with you, right? There you go. But, you know, whether it's companion or a sex partner, yeah, I, I mean, I know of someone, you know, that has a, a sex partner, and it's just a sex partner, and they're middle-aged. And they talk. And they talk, and they have a good time, but it's mostly for that. It's like, I don't want to be with you the rest of my life, and I, you know, I can't picture that, but I really enjoy being with you for that purpose. And it's both ways, but it does work. And I don't think age has anything to do with that. I really don't it's know. It's libido. It has nothing. You're right. It doesn't. You know, it depends on the person and everything. And, uh, I mean, I... This is the truth. That was a true story. So I could speak factually about that. Um, well, I'll give you an example. For instance, Charles, you see a lot of women in your line of work. And if you ask them a question generally about what makes them happy, what turns them on, they'll tell you. They'll generally tell you, you know, you yeah. get into conversation. They usually do because they ask me that question. I say, what are you doing tonight? <laughs> <laughs> then we'll find out. I mean, let's get right to the nitty gritty. Yeah, where they we want start. The action right away. But men don't do that. Men, will, you know, they'll sort of stand back and they'll just sort of think and you know, be non-responsive. But a woman will come right out and tell you, and uh, you know, they'll describe it and they'll tell which fellows were the best, which guys were the worst, that kind of There's thing. There's excitement to talk about that. And they'll talk about their husbands, their ex-husbands, their sure, ex-boyfriends. Sure. But men. Which don't one's better? Which one does it this way? Do you prefer the other position or yeah. whatever? Sure. And do you know what some of the women are now discussing? You know, we talk condoms, okay? They now have flavored condoms. Chocolate, strawberry. You think, <laughs> think I'm kidding? Have you used any? I have seen them. Excuse chocolate me. condoms. Have you used any? Well, I love chocolate, but that wasn't edible. <laughs> like, it's just a, sort of, a, it gives you a little bit of a taste. Yeah, yeah, it gives you an idea of what's going on nowadays. You and know? They, I How understand they're very successful, is. yeah. Yeah, How yeah. clever. Years you know. ago. Do you ever want to see them? I have a few at the house. I'll bring them and I'll show them to you next Sunday. I have special flavors. You know, I'll show you the flavors. I have all kinds. Along okay. those lines, years ago I saw a product called Cupid's Quiver. And this was a, uh, a fragrance that women would spray on themselves. And uh, men good. used to select what they wanted, you know, what type of fragrance they wanted. Oh, that I would and have. it was edible. Whoa. I understand they still have it. I think it was just they advertised do. recently. Oh, the last couple of days. I love Cupid's fragrances. Quiver. Never mm. leave home without it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll keep it in my purse all the time. <laughs> keep oh, it on. Wait, wait, I want to ask you something now. <laughs> Let's talk about do you think <laughs> 60 past? That uh, that we first of all does. I want to tell you 
Steve's wife is in the studio tonight. She's a great lady. She's from Paris, France, and she's very open-minded. So I know I could ask you a question anyhow. Um, do you enjoy watching porn? Sure. Do you watch it with your lady? We have. Okay. Does does that stimulate you? Do you feel like you need that, or do you just like to watch it and you feel like um, you could perform the act better? I think it's or like it's fun. To it's you like a good. It's like a good television show. It's there if you need it, or if you you know you're feeling a little bit slow in the fast lane, but uh, not necessary. No. No. How about you, Charles? Okay. When do you watch porn? How do you? Feel the only porn? way I can watch porno, <coughs> and this has happened in the past, is if I have one of those women in the projection room with me, see, at the same time that we're watching it. And I'm not kidding. I'm serious. In fact, it's happened a few times. I don't mean recently, uh, 20 years ago, 25 years ago, also a lot in my other screening room. That used to happen a lot. But what used to get me more than anything else, this had nothing to do with the women. We're running a uh, <coughs> male porno film, okay? You did? Oh, a lot of them. We, we had a lot of them. But listen to this. Oh, I never knew that. And never I'd be sitting there watching all these guys are sitting there, most of them are wearing raincoats. <laughs> and after a few minutes of watching, they suddenly stand up, they went to the bathroom, they come back. I was wondering, what the hell are they doing, you know? And then I realized why they had their raincoats sure. with them. All right, but that was just for men. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I've never seen any of the women do that, you know? I, they don't, they don't say, care. They don't <laughs> say, they, no, women don't care. No, no, it's different. I never used to did that. Oh, I'm going to ask you, would you run a porn film now? You I've, been run, years ago. I've run them. I still run them. On Saturdays. No, no, <laughs> run them during the, the week. <laughs> no, during the week. People that book the what? room, book the, uh, I'll show them anything they want as long as they're paying for it. I don't care what mm -hmm. they show. Mm -hmm. uh, can I can't stop it. them. You see, you cannot show an X-rated film in some of the theaters. They won't allow it. Okay? Mm -hmm. In my place, it, it can even be a Z. I could care less. As long as they're paying for it, they you right, can't sure. stop them. Okay. They and can watch anything they want on the screen. What and let me tell you, I've seen some beauts. Oh, I bet you oh, have. Oh, boy. I want to ask you, what makes a good porn film? What, what makes it? Is it uh, the man's moves? Is no the inhibitions. Woman, or is, no inhibi is the everything, man's erection? Everything on the table. Anything you can think of. I think the surprise factor is the best part of porn. Approaching. Movie. When they approach each other. And they get together, and slowly but surely, they saw disheveling, removing partial clothes, and then getting into bed. Now, that's the best way of doing it. Yeah. Not to just All the cut crazy right stuff. in. Off. Excuse me, it has to have a story plot. They yeah, really a little. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good, yeah right? most, they, most of them have story plots, and right here in the valley, they do a lot of it. They have a lot of places that have to shoot porn. This is, this is where foreplay really counts. Yeah. You can do it the Irish way. How'd you like it, Bridget? You know, <laughs> yeah. or, or you can take That's your the time. Irish way. Yeah. Or yeah. You, you can take your time and, and do it, you know, the uh, Italian or Latin way, which is more languorous and very easy and, and a slow more build up. Romantic. But I, I think it. what to answer your question uh -huh. about what the, what the hot stuff right. is, is anything unusual, not freaky, but unusual? Excuse me, have you, have you ever done whips or into leather goods at all? Leather, but not whips. How about handcuffs? No. No? Okay. Blindfold? Sounds like fun. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Oh, I'd hear that. Blindfold? No. How about you? Actually, we've changed the subject for a moment. <laughs> a what are you hiding? You want it's to not the what I'm hiding. <laughs> We're talking <laughs> about porn. Let's discuss porn with the seniors. Yes. Not the young people. Yes, you didn't mention I mean. that. Just, oh, did we I just talk. Excuse me, did I say porn with seniors? Porn with the seniors. Well, okay. That's okay, the one. No, I'm just saying they do it too, you know. Mm -hmm. But you don't see too much of it on the screen. They, in the, it, th huh? they don't know. They don't show it because it's not sellable. I mean, you can't show a 60, 70, or 80 year old couple having sex and in a theater. It's not going to go. Oh, I'm glad you mentioned that. Why can't you have. Uh, a middle-aged couple like that, if not doing porn, making love or having sex on the screen, why not? Why don't they do it? What's so bad at doing mm -hmm. it? But they don't. Why don't they do it? 
Because that, you could get someone that that looks good. Well, I think, and so, I think Charles uh, answered the question. It depends on your audience, the viewing audience. Usually, people who are watching, unless it's a specific audience, mm -hmm. you know, age group, mm -hmm. like to see a certain age group or type of person performing pornography on the screen. Just but to say, uh, you know, a middle-aged couple or an older couple, unless they they have a name or they have some kind of uh, added value factor. Yeah, like they say, they look half decent, you know, if they're in the nude and everything. Right. Uh, or but one is particularly aggressive. Yeah. I that mean, could you work. have some great-looking people out oh, there yeah. oh, that yeah. are past 65 and around but 70. Not, but you don't have too many porn movies with them no, in it. No. You don't have but that have because it's not sellable. Scenes. But you have love-making scenes. Yeah. Come on. You but you, look, why are they doing a porn? They're doing a porn to make money. That's why they shoot porns in the valley. They make a lot of money on that, a lot. But why would they show... 70-year-old people doing it. Nobody's going to want to watch it. You know, Can I funny. say something? Sure. Excuse me one second. Take one actor, Richard Gere. This man is handsome. Mm -hmm. Physically, he's great. He does love scenes beautifully. Mm -hmm. I mean, he just did something a couple years. And uh, they have him in love scenes now. Oh, yes. He's, uh, he, look, he could do. He comes yeah. into my room. I know him personally. Oh, I've seen him a few he times. He's fabulous. So, so he can do with a younger woman, yeah. that's fine. But it's part of a film that they shot. It's not just porn. No. It's a I part of the film. Yeah, it's, it's more of a love That's all it is. It's just a sexy part of the there. film. That's all. But again, yeah. did you just say, you're right, they have him with a younger woman. Absolutely. It's a setup. It's, the way this, it's like a script, as he said. You know, the other thing you were talking about is an older star. I was reading about a Japanese gentleman who's a star. He's in his 70s, mm -hmm. and he's one of the hottest porn stars in Japan. All the women like him as a sort of teacher, the one who attracts them away from the soda fountain and into the life of porn. Now, there's a setup, there's a situation or a storyline where there's a frame to it. So if you watch it... That's a good storyline. Here's an older guy with a young kid who's inexperienced. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Or an older woman with a less experienced guy. That's interesting. Or a woman who used to be a star, you know, some, a well-known athlete or something like that, and she picks up a guy, you know, the cougar, the so-called right, cougar the, relationship. Right, right, right. And that's interesting. So it's a matter of twisting around relationships, and I think the age could go pretty far with something like that. Okay, and we were talking about earlier, too, just getting off... Uh, the porn thing for a little bit, but we're talking about sexology. It's like psychology, but we're going into sex now, too. Yeah. And I was saying uh, to Raul Kurt here, I mean, what's happening out there? Because it's like one male after another, they're getting in these different episodes, these sexual things, and they're married, and it's, we're hearing about it more. And then Raul said, well, it's always been there, but we're it's just out in the open now. Mm -hmm. But it seems like it's one after another after another. And, of course, we have cameras all over the place now, so they think they could get mm -hmm. away with it. But, I and mean, texting and the uh, Internet, everything, everybody talks about everything these days. But why, if you answer me this question, Steve and Charles, why would a man who has a gorgeous wife go out with a woman that's, 20 years old, and he is probably maybe in his late 40s, early 50s. Why would a man do that? It's different. Just different. A different experience. It's crazy. It makes absolutely no sense, as you say. And uh, this particular gentleman you were talking about who was uh, I don't know interviewing... We, say it on here. we well, know. We you don't have to mention. We know yeah, who it is. We know who it is. I mean, it's, it's yeah. always sort of poetic when they catch a fellow who himself is a sort of a, a predator hunter who gets him, he's a human being. Uh, who knows why they're attracted to a woman or why a woman is attracted to a guy. They have handsome husbands at home, they have pretty wives at home. It's just a little it's a, a just distraction. For the for the it's a distraction, yeah. Or middle-aged crisis. I do the same thing, look at me. <laughs> I go for women, I want 20 years younger than me, sure, they can be 20 years younger than me, would be no good, right? If she was 20 years of age and I went with her, aha, uh -huh, now we got something. That would be great. Oh, that would be great. Yeah. 
Or you just had I can, one a can short I time dream ago. about that? What? What? You had one. Oh yeah, she you was had one in her thirties, just yeah, a she, few months ago. Yeah, yeah, but she was a beautiful blonde. She's still around. Yeah, still around. I don't think you ever saw her. I don't think so. No, no, she was lovely. Oh, well, he's always she with a lot of women. Flowers. Yeah, really, flowers. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's she neat. brings in flowers besides herself. <laughs> not bad, not bad. And I told her anytime she wants to come without the flowers, he, it's all he right. She's always so. ready for action. But how do you feel now after last night? Because, you know, you were busy last night. Yeah. I mean, you were occupied. Yeah. Are, are you feeling okay today? I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Energetic, I'm available. Energetic. You still have. I'm your available. Okay. That's Make it. me an offer. <laughs> <laughs> On camera. On camera? On camera. You don't even take time out to breathe. You got, went, from, went from that one, now you're ready to go again. Anytime. God bless you, you. God bless me is right. Oh, my God. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> ready to go, Charles. And you know what I always keep saying? <laughs> Thank you there for you Viagra. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you know, and Cialis. <laughs> it's turning into a commercial. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anyone like you. I mean... Uh, at your fabulous age, like I said, Charles is 96 years old, that is oversexed. But you don't mind if I put it bluntly no, go like ahead. that, okay? No, you know. Yeah. I've been he's, after you, you know, so you can tell him. He's just ready to go all the time. And access to a lot of women. Access to a lot of women. So you guys who are behind the cameras here, you still have to come down to my screening room and see what they're talking about. If you want to meet some women, you'll see who comes in. They won't listen to me. They stay away. I got a hell of a funny film this Sunday, but I'm not even going to tell you what it is. Of course, yes, he ain't going to come to anyway. Come you got to come in and see Don't it. tell them the name of it. They're not coming. Why tell them? Mm -hmm. Raul, you got to come and see this. Mm -hmm. promise you after Kurt, you got to come in. Definitely. Mm -hmm. And, and you can bring a wife. You, you can bring a wife or a girlfriend with you. Not both, because I want no bloodshed. One or the other. Okay. And Charles will show you his photos. He has some other photos packed away too. Oh really? Charles, oh yeah. Charles, oh, I didn't Charles, see that. Charles, Charles. In the yeah. trunk, huh? Ah. Yeah. Yeah. The trunk. He has those. Definitely hmm. has those. How but are we doing on time, guys? No, no. Wait, I want to ask. I'm still talking. What? We have a lot to talk go, about go, yet. Go, go, go. No, How much time have we got? Don't minute. tell me it's time already. Yeah. Oh, no, it can't be. So yeah. hurry up and ask me. I want to talk more about the toy store. Oh, the toy store. Yeah, I, don't I, like, I don't like going don't to the store. Don't you think that's a good idea? Uh, what can a man pick up in the toy store? Toy. Tell me. Uh, well, what I don't know. I have to go back. I have to visit What again. would you buy in uh, a toy I store? I bought a vibrator. That I, that's I, not I, a toy. Your vibrators have been toy. out for years. Well, that's there's a new toy. stuff. I, have to look. I don't know. I have to go and check. They have a lot will of new stuff now. Me? I'd be delighted to come. Okay, Steve, Did you hear that, guys? She wants, to, that okay? she wants well, me to come with her. But you got to come with me, too. We're both coming. The three of us Do I have to end the show when I'm having such a good time? Yeah, I have to. The show is over. Anyhow, we have to end the show at Channel 36. Thank you so much. Tune in again to Thank Sexology you Channel 36. We love you. Have a wonderful evening. Absolutely. Thank, right. Thank you, you Steve. very much. Thank you, Charles. Thank You're you welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Love you. Don't we still so have nine seconds? Okay. Frank said it was sensational a few weeks ago. Hey. It's over. He did it. <laughs>